So this video right here is going to go over how to replace the entire LCD assembly. Okay, so without any further ado, let's get to it. Let's go ahead and shut this unit down. Okay, the first thing we're going to want to do is flip this unit over. press in the following button on the right side and lift it up and pull up the cover. It just comes out really easy after pressing that in. The next thing we want to do is we want to remove this battery by just pulling it up. If you don't have this plastic part, you can just pry your fingers around and lift it up and out. Now that we got to this part, let's go ahead and remove the four screws that are holding the unit up top. Let me just zoom in on that. These four screws here, one, two, three, and four. Those screws are going to come, have to come out first. This is a Phillips head screwdriver screw, so we can just go ahead and get right to it. One, two, three, and four. Now, let me just make this clear. These uh, three screws are the same, and the one short screw always goes into the left side right here. So all the other three screws are the same size. That way you don't mix it up. Okay, now let's move in to the next layer, which is right here. We're gonna be removing this screw, the second screw, this third screw, and this fourth screw right here. So those four screws are gonna come right out and that will complete our removal for the rear main panel. These four screws are all the same size, so I like to group them together when I remove them. Make sure when you're taking out screws in a series that you put them all together in one groove and none of them get mixed up. These screws, you can identify, they're not like the others, they're the smallest screws that we're going to be working on today. Now that we remove that, we can go ahead and lift up the panel. Since there are no screws holding it down, you start from the from the top up here. Just pull it right up, set it over to the side. Now that we have access to the actual computer and the motherboard, there is a nifty trick on how to remove the actual uh, LCD screen. What you want to do is you want to take the laptop and have it halfway open, okay? And then what you want to do is you want to fl flip it around and set it down on the desk like so. And the reason for this is because if you don't have this unit halfway open, you're going to have a lot of issues once you actually get the screws that you that are holding down the LCD uh, out of the way. So let's get here. Okay, we're going to start off by unplugging, pulling up on the lever here gently to the left and taking this cord, picking it up and lifting it to the left side. Just kind of gently pop it out. This is your main LVDS connector. The second thing we're going to unplug is right here, right near the CD-ROM drive. This right here, we're going to lift it up from the bottom, get our finger underneath there. We're going to pinch it and then we're going to move it to the right, pull it to the right. These two cables as you can see, the LVDS connector. And this connect connector right here is in charge of your network antenna, your network card, and your eyesight camera. Once you remove this unit, you can go ahead and trace it all the way down and just gently pull it up and just push it out of the way. The next thing we're gonna unscrew is the speaker here. This speaker has two screws. One right here and one right here. This speaker also plugs in right next to the fan right here. So we're going to go ahead and pry that upwards. It's going to pop right out. And also trace it and move it out of the way. Okay, so let's get to the screw on the speaker. We have screw one and we have screw two. I like to leave the screws in place and just push the speaker over while the screws are still inside of their perspective holes. 
as you can see. Okay? Now, now that we got that, we can get to this right here clamp that's hiding the cable and protecting it from becoming loose. This is also a Phillips head screw. All the screws that we've done so far are Phillips head. It has two screws. Once you unscrew them both, the one on the left here is going to be attached to the cable itself. We're just going to tilt this over and pull it out of the way and leave that screw intact. Actually, let's take that out and put it in the perspective place where it goes, right into the hole where we got it. Okay, and set that over on the side here. Okay, and then we're going to be doing the same procedure over here on the left. There are two screws holding down this clamp. This screw right here, and this screw. Once we got those two cable clamps out of the way, we can go ahead and access the actual screws that are holding down the LCD assembly. So let's switch screwdrivers, put down the Phillips head, grab the T7 screwdriver, okay? And we have three screws right here that are holding the LCD unit down. As you can see, again, I'm unscrewing them, but I'm leaving them in place. Okay, let's move over to the right side. Okay, let's go ahead and lift. Now that we have it unscrewed, we can go ahead and gently, uh, let me see if we can get a better angle here. Once we have all six of those screws un undone, we can go ahead and gently lift this entire screen right up. Okay, like so. Now we can go ahead and easily get to these three screws. And then the three screws on this side. One, two, and three. Okay, so we're done with this unit here. We're going to take this, put it on the side, and now we're going to get it to our replacement unit. Same exact way as we took out the last unit. We're going to take this unit, we're going to make sure that we have the cables in our fingers right here, and then we're just going to gently drop this in. Line up the holes and screw the three screws back on on each side. I like to start in the middle, one here, oh. one here, and the last one, right in here. Now while we're, on, we're still working on this side, we can go ahead and take this guy that we got and put him right in. Switch out from T7 to Phillips. And make sure that this cable is bending around this cable holder. And then we can go ahead and plug that right in. Make sure to be very careful when plugging in the LVDS cable and don't push on it too hard because if one of those pins is misaligned, it's going to bend and you're going to have to replace the entire LCD again. Let's move over to the right side. Here we have our three T7 screws. Okay, let's switch back to our Phillips head. And now, we can go ahead and connect the cable holder. Make sure you're placing the cable underneath the cable holder. 
Now that that's done, we can go ahead and put the speaker back in its respective place. Okay, let's go ahead and take this cable and slide it under these three prongs. And now, let's reconnect the speaker by gently placing it over where we pulled it and pressing on it. You will feel and hear a little click here once you press on onto it. Let's reconnect the EyeSight camera and the network card. Again, be very gentle when you're reconnecting these pieces and make sure the teeth line up. Once you do this a few times, you will totally get the feel for it, but you don't have to, just as long as you're careful. Make sure to tug the cable in as much as you can. Okay, and now we can go ahead and spin this unit around. Close it, spin it around, and we're good to put back the top cover. The cover goes on with the feet facing away from you and the hard drive towards you. And what you want to do here is you want to open that little guy up so that he's sticking up, and then you can firmly press this in. We can go ahead and start with the long screws first. I like to start with the middle. Now remember, these three are the long screws. The one on the left is the short little guy. Once you have those three in, we can go ahead and start on the screws on the bottom here. Again, this is just four little screws. They're all the same size. Once we have all the screws in, we can just drop in that battery at an angle and towards us and just drop it in. Then take the cover, push it up all the way, and just gently lay it down. As you're laying it down, click the little guy in, and the unit's up and running. Now that we have the screen replaced, let's go ahead and test it out. As you can see, this is a completely different screen. The lines that were here are gone. And we've just successfully replaced the entire LCD assembly.